Hi guys! Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang tungkol sa equivalent fractions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Ano ba ang equivalent fractions? So basically, from the root word of equivalent which is equal, two fractions are said to be equivalent if they are equal. Equivalent fractions are not necessarily the same in form, meaning they don't have the same denominator and numerator, but as a fraction, they have the same value. For example, 1 half is equivalent to 2 over 4. 1 third is equivalent to 3 over 9. So, gaya nung sinabi ko, Yung dalawang fractions na to ay equivalent although they don't have the same numerator and denominator. Sa unang tingin, hindi natin makikita yung equivalence ng dalawang fraction unless meron tayong gagawing process para ma-verify na equivalent sila. So the most common way is to reduce them into lowest term. So for one half, uh, it is already reduced to lowest term. So, hindi na natin kailangang i-reduce pa yung 1 half sa lowest term. Yung 2 over 4 naman ay meron pang GCF na 2. So, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. Therefore, we will end up with the lowest term of 2 fourth as 1 half. So, therefore, Napatunayan na natin na yung 1 half ay equivalent sa 2 fourth dahil nung nireduce natin yung 2 fourth sa lowest term, nag-arrive din tayo sa 1 half. Likewise, sa 1 third, 1 third is already in lowest term. So, ang malulowest term na lang natin ay yung 3 ninth. So, we know that 3 and 9 have GCF of 3. So, if we divide both the numerator and denominator by 3, we will end up with the lowest term of 3, 9 as 1 third. Therefore, na-prove na natin na ang 1 third ay equivalent sa 3, 9. Or there is another way to verify that two fractions are equivalent by using the cross multiplication. So, if we try to cross multiply the two equivalent fractions, meaning we will multiply the denominator of the first fraction by the numerator of the second fraction. And we will also multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. At kung equal yung sagot nila, therefore, the two fractions are equivalent. So in our case, 2 times 2 is 4. And 1 times 4 is 4. Therefore, their cross products are both equal to 4, and therefore, they are equivalent. Likewise, in 1 third and 3 over 9, we cross multiply them, and we get the answer of 9 and 9. So therefore, 1 third is equivalent to 3 over 9 because their cross products are equal, which is 9. So, paano ba natin mahanap ang equivalent fraction ng isang fraction? So, basically, ang isang fraction ay maaring magkaroon ng infinite number of equivalent fractions. For example, So, 1 half, we know from the previous example, has an equivalent fraction of 2 over 4. Likewise, it is also equivalent to 3 over 6, which is also equivalent to 4 over 8, etc., etc. So meaning, we can still find many equivalent fractions for 1 half. Pero paano ba natin na-arrive yung equivalent fractions na 2, 4, 3, 6, and 4, 8? So basically, makukuha natin ang equivalent fraction ng isang fraction kapag nagmultiply tayo ng isang number sa both sa kanilang numerator at denominator. 
So in the case of 2 fourth, if we multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 half by both 2 over 2, we will have the answer of 2 over 4. Likewise, if we multiply both the numerator and denominator of 1 half by 3 over 3, we will arrive at 3 over 6. You notice that if we just multiply an integer to the numerator and the denominator of a fraction, we can arrive at its equivalent fraction. So since we have infinite number of integers that we can multiply to both the numerator and denominator of a fraction, we can also have infinite equivalent fractions for a given fraction. Ano ba ang gamit ng equivalent fractions? At bakit kailangan natin itong malaman? So basically, ang pinakagamit ng equivalent fractions ay kung mag add or mag tayo ng dissimilar fractions. For example, if we were to add 1 half plus 1 third, which we notice na dissimilar fractions since they have different denominators, hindi natin agad ma-add itong dalawang fractions na ito dahil dissimilar sila. So, basically, ang unang step na gagawin natin para ma-add itong dalawang fractions ay gawin silang similar fractions. Meaning, they must have the same denominator. So, dito papasok yung equivalent fractions. So, the first step is to find the least common denominator of the denominators 2 and 3. So, if we will try to do the listing method, so, we will try to list the multiples of 2 and 3. So, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8. For 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12. And since we notice na meron na tayong unang nagkaparehong multiple ng 2 at 3, which is 6, we know that the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6, and therefore also the least common denominator of the fractions. So now, we want to transform 1 half and 1 third to their equivalent fractions that have 6 as the denominator. So, we will find an uh, integer that we will multiply to both the numerator and denominator of the fraction such that the denominator is equal to 6. So, for 1 half, we can multiply 3 to both the numerator and denominator para maging 6 yung denominator. So, we have 3 over 6. For one third, we can multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 para maging 6 then yung denominator. So therefore, we have 2 over 6. Therefore, we have transformed one half and one third into similar fractions which are 3 over 6 and 2 over 6. And therefore, dahil similar na sila, maaari na nating i-perform ang addition by simply adding the numerators and copying the denominator. So, 3 plus 2 over 6 or 5 over 6. So, ito ang pinakamahalagang applications of equivalent fractions which is transforming two or more dissimilar fractions into similar when we are adding or subtracting them. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.